recent plastic kits feature in Collector's Gazette, Humbrol sent us one of the workstations. Uh, the idea behind this is it's meant to organise your area when you're making or painting plastic kits. Now, although we were sceptical initially about how useful this would be, we've quickly come to realise this is actually a very good bit of kit. Hopefully it can help you organise something messy, like this, to this much neater working area. After picking up the workstation, you probably want to consider also getting the Humbrol cutting mat. Uh, this A4 cutting mat just slots down at the front here and is a really useful guide for all the different measurements and also stops you cutting into the plastic when you're getting your model from the sprues. Of course, having your paints nice and organised is another important part of the process when putting together a plastic kit. So Humboldt has got these little areas at the back where you can place all your different pots of paint. And they are different sizes so you can get the enamel, the acrylic and even these little kind of tester pots which you often get in the kits nowadays as well. This is a great way to keep everything organised so you know exactly where everything is. Another neat addition at the back here are 12 spots where you can put your paintbrushes. Again, it's all about keeping everything organised and having everything to hand when you're in the middle of painting or putting together your kit. So now you've got your paints and your brushes really nicely organised, what about your instructions? Well again, Humboldt's thought of that, and your instructions slot in really nicely at the back there so they're not going to get covered in paint or glue when you're putting things together. Another nice feature are these two grooves that are in the side here. And the good thing about those is, is you can place paintbrushes if you don't want to put them in the back there. Or you can even put some parts of the kit to stop them rolling around and also make sure they don't get lost. Finally at the back here, if you want, you can put your spray paints. And also a nice little tip is if you take the lid off, pop it there, that acts as a nice place to put your water when you're painting too. Here's an example of what it might look like when you're in full swing. And as you can see, thanks to all the nifty little features that Humboldt's included on this, it makes things a lot more organised and a lot easier to put your plastic kit together smoothly. Also, if you do need to pick it up and move it around, that's really easy, thanks to these little grooves underneath, which help you to pick it up easily. And as you can see, nothing really moves around, thanks to all the different slots at the back. And, of course, it's not just plastic kits that the workstation is useful for, too. Here we're using it to paint some tabletop miniatures. In this case, it's a group of Marauders from Mantic Games' Warpath. And once again, it's really useful helping you keep everything organised and in place. And you can use the slots at the side to put in weapons so you don't lose them, and also all your paints at the back again. So it's really good for other things as well. Overall then, we're really impressed with the Humbrol workstation. Whether you're doing plastic kits or painting tabletop miniatures, it really helps to get everything organised and in one place. Plus, it's a really useful that you can pick it up and move it around in case you do need to change location. So, if you're into the plastic kits or tabletop miniatures, we definitely recommend picking one up for around £20.